Hello, my name is George Bott and I'm with the United in Worship Project Help Desk. It's our intent to provide some examples and help to show you how to make more effective use of some of the resources that we are providing for worship. Many of you are using our resources from the United in Worship Project and you may notice that we are using a standard letter-sized page, eight and a half inches by 11 inches. In your computer, it usually calls that size letter size. That's the format that we're using for typing up the order of service, the bulletin. But I do know that many churches still use a book fold bulletin. That's like taking this eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper putting it sideways, instead of up and down, put it sideways, that's landscape mode, and turning that into a bulletin. Let me show you a really easy way to make that happen and let the computer do all the work. Unfortunately, this works only with Microsoft Office on Windows-based computers. The Mac version of uh, Microsoft Office doesn't have this feature in it. Let's start by opening one of the bulletins from our resources folder. So I've got one here all ready to go, Bulletin for Worship Leader, and I'm going to open that document. You notice that if I scroll down this document, that it's create on let, created on letter size sheets, that's eight and a half by 11, and it's in what's called portrait mode. And so there are a total of four pages of this document on letter-sized paper. Portrait mode just means that the narrow edge of the paper is toward the top and the bottom of the document. Its opposite would be landscape, where we turn the paper on its side so that the long edge is at the top and the bottom. Well, that's landscape mode. So I've numbered the pages so that you can see how many sheets of letter size paper are used and how many pages will be there when we turn it into a bulletin. Now, so I just wanted to make sure that you understand what we're doing here. We're taking that original bulletin that I showed you written on or typed on uh, letter size paper eight and a half by 11 inches and I printed it out so that you can see how it prints out in its letter size format. So there's the front page. You notice there's no number on that page. Here's page one. Here's page two. And Here's page three. All right, so we're going from that large document and we're going to turn it into a booklet, a book fold. Let's see what that looks like when it's printed out. Now let's go ahead and have the computer do just that. Turn it into a multi-page booklet. So from the tabs across the top of the ribbon here, I'm going to select layout. And within that layout, I want to concentrate on this grouping, the page setup grouping. And note in the bottom right corner, there's a very tiny icon that when you click on it, opens the page setup dialog box. It's like a more button and gives us more features. Well, right now, everything I need to use is right in front of me. I want to change the margins for top, bottom, left, and right. Because it's a booklet, I want to make those margins a little narrower. So I'm going to change the top and the bottom to half an inch. And the left and right margins to a half inch. If you've got your Microsoft Office set up for metric, it would probably be 1.25 centimeters or 125 millimeters. Once the margins are adjusted, I want you to note right now that our pages are in portrait mode. And I'm going to come down to where it says pages, multiple pages, normal. That's the normal position. Portrait and we're now going to click on this little arrow beside it and select Book Fold, the last item in that drop-down list. 
And note there's some changes have happened. First of all, the orientation changed from portrait to landscape. That means the, the page has been turned on its long edge now. So the long edge is at top and bottom. We're doing this for all of the sheets in the booklet. And the preview has shown us now that we have an eight and a half by 11 or letter size page turned on its side and there are going to be uh, pages side by side on this. And it's going to apply to the whole document. All we need now to do is say OK and let the computer do its work. And sure enough, it has. Let me scroll down and let's just see. This is page one, or actually it's page zero. There is no number on that page. And I go to the next page and here we have page one, two, three, four, five. So our booklet is actually going to have five pages of typing in it. And uh, we're going to um, print it out to see what it looks like. But before we do that, I would suggest that one of the things you might want to do, because it's now in booklet form, is let's set the font from 10 point. If I click on home up here, I can see right now at the top, it's 14 point. So that's large letters. If I come down here and click, the font I'm using on the rest of the booklet is 12 point. So I'm going to change this to 10 point by putting my pointer in the left margin and drag downward. And I'm just going to keep on dragging downward until I have the whole booklet selected, except for those titles at the top. And now I'm going to come back up here on the Home tab, and I'm going to select the font size and change it to 10 point. That just makes it a little bit smaller. And now when I scroll back up to the top, you notice that it's gone from five pages. It's now on four plus the front cover. And so when I print it out, I now have to click File. I'm going to come down the list to Print. And in the Print dialog box, I want to first of all set the number of copies that we want here. I just want one for today. I can choose from my list of printers which printer I'm going to use, and I'm going to keep the one that's already selected there, a Canon MX920. I just want to double check and make sure it's going to print all pages. And you'll notice it says print one-sided. Well, that's not what I want. I want to print double-sided, print on both sides, but I want to flip the page on the short edge. So let's come down until we find that. There it is there. Print on both sides, flip the page on the short edge. And so now we can go ahead and tell it to print. And we would press print. So here we are. We've printed out now, having made the adjustments and turned that letter size paper into a booklet. Here's what it looks like when it's printed out. So in our, as our document comes off the printer here, whoops, wrong side here. Let's look at this side first. This is the cover, the outside front cover. This is the outside back cover. When I look at what's on the other side of that, all I find is a printout of page two. Actually, sorry, page one. I'm on the wrong side here. Here's page one, and on the other side, a blank. Don't worry about the fact that it's blank. The computer knows what it's doing better than we do. Here's page blank and page two. And then if I turn that over, pages three and four. So if we put this all back together the way it came off the printer, and I'm just going to fold it in half. Let's take a look as we go through this. Here's our front cover. Pages one and two. Not 
cooperate. Pages three and four. Pages five and six. There was no text on those pages. And the back cover again. So now we've got a booklet for the worship leaders, but we can take that one more step because what we did next was we applied a few more enhancements to our, our bulletin, our, our booklet version of that bulletin. Let's see what that looks like when it printed out. All right, let's do just a little bit more with our uh, booklet that we've created for this or for this particular bulletin. Uh, there are a few th other things we can do to make it look more like our worship uh, bulletin. So let's open up where we left off. And I want to take this cover that we've got, this first page, and I want to move the stuff from local announcements on down to page one. That's And that way we're just going to have the title and the date on the cover. So I'm going to do that by putting my cursor at the beginning of local announcements. Do you see it flashing there? I'm going to hold down one of the control keys on my keyboard and just tap the enter key. That's forced everything from my cursor's position on to a new page. So it's now on page one. And my cover, which is an unnumbered page, will have just the information about the churches that it represents, and the date. And I need to create a bit of space. So I'm going to click after the word Canada and press the Enter key a few times just to move that down the page a bit because I want a space where I'm going to add a picture in here. So I'll bring my cursor back up now, um, a line below the word United Church of Canada. So here I want to insert a picture. So I'm going to click Insert tab. And choose the icon pictures and it's going to select automatically from this PC but I left a picture sitting on the desktop that I want to use so I'm going to find the word desktop in this list there it is and sure enough it's called conflict cover that's the picture I want to use and I'm going to check mark it and then say insert I've got my picture on my cover and there are a couple of things in here that we need to do to make this picture work for us, and one of them is set the wrap, how text is going to wrap around it. So I'm going to click on this strange little icon that's called Layout Options, and I want to select this one which says, mm, I think we'll choose this one that says Square, so text will work all the way around the top, bottom, left, and right. And now I'm just going to click outside, and I'm going to make this picture just a little bit bigger. And if I hold down, you notice I'm grabbing it by a corner handle. Doesn't matter which corner handle. And I'm going to hold down one of the two control keys on my keyboard, and I'm just going to drag this to make all dimensions show a little larger. And now I can just drag it down the page a bit more. And let's scroll down a bit. Oh, I've pushed that August 18th down too far, so I'm just going to put my cursor near the bottom, and I'm going to backspace some to get it back up where I wanted it on my page. And now I'm going to move the cursor up a little bit more, and I want to type on here, all in capital letters, that this is the Worship Leaders Bulletin. So put on Caps Lock. The Worship Leaders Bulletin just has more information in it than the Congregational Bulletin does. It has all the extra things that are going to be happening during worship in there uh, for the worship leader as reminders about what has to go on to make the worship uh, flow. All right, so now we have, if we scroll down through our document, this is still our booklet version, remember. So now we have a nice cover with the name of the churches on it. The uh, for whom the bulletin is for, the date, and now everything else is on the next four pages. 
All right. And now when we print it out, we're going to do exactly the same thing as before. Select File. Come down the list to print. We're going to set the number of copies. Choose the printer we're going to use. Make sure that it says print on both sides, flip pages on short edge, and then click the print button. And our document is now being printed. Oh, by the magic of computer technology. Here we are, and it's already printed out for us. So, once again, I, I can show you that I've got my front cover, and it's got the text on it. The back cover is blank. There was no text there. If I look inside, I now have page one with some text on it. The other page is blank. When I look at page two, You'll notice that there is stuff on page 2 and on page 5. Don't worry about it. The computer knows what it's doing. Trust it. Trust me. And here's pages 3 and 4. They're right in the center of the document. That's why they both show up on that page. So let's put this back together the way it came off the printer. We're going to fold our booklet in half. And now when we look inside, let's see what comes up. Look at that. Pages 1 and 2. Pages 3 and 4 in the very center. Page 5 has a little bit of text on it. Page 6 is still blank. And so is the back cover. But we've taken that, what was originally a three or four page a letter sized document and we've turned it now into a neat little booklet by letting the computer do the work for us. Good luck with your manipulating these documents. It's all yours. Later on we'll show you how to do some other changes to make it from a worship leader's bulletin into uh, a bulletin for the congregation.